Hey Greens, welcome to Cash or Trash, the episode where I review craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. However, however, today we are sponsored by Pixel Bits, and I will never lead you Greens astray, so this review will definitely still be very honest. Otherwise, they'll be like, mm, we don't like this, and then the video won't be published. So if you're seeing this, Spin Master approved. <laughs> In all honesty, I've had great experiences with this brand, so I am super excited to try out this new kit called Pixo Bits. And as you can see, this box is absolutely adorable. It has pixel art, if you didn't know. I'm a huge fan of pixel art. Even my starting screen on my gaming channel is pixel art. So it spoke to the core of my soul. Oh, why'd it get so dark? <laughs> I guess I can't escape the darkness in my soul. And from what we can tell from the box is that this one here lets you create your own 2D and 3D pixel art creations that stick together with water. And it's as easy as stack, spray, and then style. And ermy gird to be stickers. <laughs> stickers. We can't say the no to stickers. And this kit claims to have our favorite sentence ever. Includes everything you need. The, except water. Can't transport that. You could technically, but then... In addition to the main box, we're going to be checking out add-ons that come separately. We have the clear one, and that watermelon looks adorable. I'm weak for adorable things. I mean, darkness in my soul. And then there's the metallic one, which is kind of hard to tell what it looks like from the box itself, so we're gonna take a look at it and see the metallicness of it. And what I love about pixel arts, personally, is that it's good for everyone, no matter what age or what your interests are. You'll definitely find something cute to make. Is that a platypus? Is that a, a, a holy shrimp? Is that a platypus? Oh, no. <laughs> I really want to make a plat- I have a goosebump, not one, it's multiple goosebumps. I really want to make that platypus. And if we turn the box around, we see two of them that are enjoying the kit and one of them that's holding, what is that? A doggy? And he's like, look at my doggy, it's so cute. And then the girl's like, oh my god, that's adorable. Honestly, from the box itself, I am extremely excited because it looks like we can even make accessories for the characters. I mean, is it me or this looks to be a spicy snack? Like a snack box. Is it me? I would not have taken the sponsorship if I knew I wouldn't make you grains proud or extra salty, but then I wouldn't have taken it as a sponsorship, I would have bought it myself. <laughs> oh, and this is a fairly new product, so if you're interested in checking them out, I will leave information down below. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I may wave a sharp pointy thing. Click on all notifications while you're there. And for those of you wondering, the price is about $29.99. Of course, it'll depend where you're from, but being fully transparent, this was sent to me directly. And with that, let's see what we get inside. Stop rolling back! Oh, okay. Holy shrimp, this is way more tiny and portable than I imagined it. For some reason I thought it would be much bigger, but I'm happy it's not. And here's what we get inside. 10 absolutely vibrant little pixels, pixel bits. We have our rainbow colors and two browns. Normally, I would be like, why is this not in a resealable bag? That's what I would say. However, I think they watch my reviews because in addition to these, we also get the machine where we can spray our creations that turns into, look at this, it turns into an actual storage container. So you can put your materials inside. <sighs> Companies, I'm glad you're watching my video. <laughs> In all honesty, this is extremely convenient because so many companies just kind of put the things in the bags and they don't even have resealable bag, they don't have containers, nothing. So I'm really happy with that. Also, normally, I would say, how come we don't have black and white in order to make, you know, faces? But they took care of that by actually giving us the cute faces. Let's take a closer look. We have some alphabets and then some pixel emojis. Oh my God, super cute. We also have some pants, I'm guessing. These could be t-shirts, 
kind of cute. It has game over. It is inspired by video games. You have my heart. You have a cute little unimpressed face. I love these. This feels like they know their target audience. It doesn't feel like they're putting a bunch of random, maybe a unicorn, maybe a donut, maybe a skateboard, maybe... This looks very much so like it works together because it does. And I'm so impressed right now. I absolutely love the cartoony vibe. We have more faces, more accessories. I'm guessing these are braids. Super cute. Again, this is way better than just having had black and white colored Pixos because this is just colorful and you can do so much more with this. And even a backpack. They even thought of the back part of your character, okay? Hey, hey Spin Master, if you need a consultant, I'm available. <laughs> Not that you need, but I'm in. We have snacks. So here we have nachos. We have boba tea. We have a hamster. We have a sloth. I'm guessing this is also another backpack. <gasps> the rainbow hair. I really want to make a platypus, though. Oh, yes. Look at this face. Adorable. And also more snacks. We have cheetah crunchies. These are adorable. They don't feel like stickers. So they must stick onto the creation itself as you're making it with water. So we're gonna find that out together. We also have three double-sided thing, templates is the word I was looking for. And these templates let you know how many of the pixel bits you're going to be putting on the characters. So we're gonna slide these under in order to make it. So you can see that some parts need two pixel bits, some parts need one. And even though these templates are absolutely adorable, you can get creative and make your own designs. And then they show you the finished product from each side. Holy shrimp, is that an actual 3D flower? I mean, everything is Jewish and 3D-ish, but I don't know why I was impressed with the flower. Very impressed. Okay, I see you. <laughs> And we also get the tools in order to put them together from the tweezers to the spritzers to the putter. A little bit of everything, which we're going to explore. And we get the instruction guide in color. I'm always complaining they make these in black and white. Did you just pick some bits? You're getting all the bits right here. We have it all in color. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Oh, it's all, it's all pictures. It's easy to understand from my little brain. No words, just pictures. So I filled up both my little water containers. And now let's go ahead and organize our little organizer. And if you wondered where you pack your little decals, well, apparently they thought of that too. With this little thing that's on the inside of the whole mechanism, look at that. It has a little pouch. It has a pouch for your decals. <laughs> I am genuinely surprised nowadays when things work well. That's how salty I am. No, salty crafter, you do not need to come out. Go away, go back into the forest. Also, as I'm organizing my space and taking things apart, I realized that they didn't just give us one board, but two boards. So you can share the fun time if you want to, or you can make two creations at the same time, which is where my brain is going. I wanna make two things at the same time. <laughs> Neat. Again, very convenient. And I wasn't sure what this tool was, but apparently it is a decal picker. So you don't have to have the stickiness on your hands. It's literally miss free. It's a little silicon tip. So you can just pick something up and put it back down. I want to try it. Let's try it. Did I mention that you also have accessories for like skateboards and ears and things that are also included? Oh, and we do have a little stand. We have a little stand for our tools. Look at that. Tool number one, tool number two, and tool number three. So it's made to be on a table, otherwise some things might slip through, but it is made to lay flat. So I think I'd like to start with the kitty cat over here because we have not just one layer, but two layers and an accessory and the stickers. And according to the instructions, we're going to be doing one layer, six pumps of water, second layer, six pumps of water, but we have to keep an eye that it doesn't get drenched. We don't want that. We want them to be wet. I didn't say it. And then we can go ahead, add our decal and sticker with that little silicone tool thing. Place it on top, two pumps, and then wait for 20 minutes. 
Then once it's fully dry, we can go ahead and put the accessories and wait 45 minutes. However, they do have tips and tricks and say that if you want it to dry faster, you can put it near a fan. So go do that. You know, I actually haven't touched them. Okay, hang on. How do you feel? Okay, they feel like any other plastic type blocks. Very nice. Let's do a sniff test. <sniffs> Smells like nothing. Now there are two ways to do this. We do need 19 pinks. So what you could do is lift this up, take your 19 pinks, or in my case, how my brain works is I want to kind of keep these intact. So I'm going to take the board, put my template and my board right on top, and I'm gonna make it separately. But you could do it either or. I'm guessing, so you gotta account for my kind of brain too. So I went ahead and added the little pixel bits, and honestly I found it way easier to put it with my own fingers because the tweezers, as cute as they are, not for me, I've always liked to feel closer, and also you need to kind of push it first with your finger in order to grab and then let it go, and then you can put it down by reopening it like this. So it's more tweezers that open this way versus that way, if that makes sense. Makes sense to me. Let me demonstrate. So if I want to get this cube here, Oh, actually that, never mind. You just have to push down. And then if you want to put it back down, this is where putting your finger in the middle to release comes in. There you go. So basically you pick up by pushing down and you release by putting your finger. I just learned something new. Never mind. <clears throat> All right, now to put it back in, I'm just going to lift my tray, put this back in here, like so. Voila, voila, and voila, simple. All right, I'm super excited for this part. So here we have the pump. We put it right on top and we have to do six pumps, right? Yes. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. You saw that empty. And now we can take off the top and put the two other blues. So one here and one here. Oh, it's already feeling sticky. Nice. Put it back in. Give you grains a side angle view again. And six more pumps. Voila. Now we're gonna add the little sticker and I'm, I really want this face. I really want this little devious face. So we're gonna remove it from the back. Like a so. Aha, I got it. Okay, we have it. And we take this tool over here. Oh, there you go. And then we place it. Oh my God, this is right in the middle. You got this, Jackie, you got this. There. Ah, oh, okay, we got this. And I don't know if we're supposed to flatten it down, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Voila. <laughs> this is so cute. I, can't, I don't know if I'm supposed to show you this way, but look at it. Okay, we have to go give it its two pumps. And of course, if you wanna make multiple projects, you can do that. So let's do two. Hang on. One, two. And now we let it sit for 20 minutes. But in the meantime, Let's see what the metallic and transparent pixel bits look like. Which one should I do first? Metallic. And even each expansion comes with a set of colors and their own little decals. So let's see what the metallic one has to offer. Okay, I did not expect this. This is basically a standalone kit too. That is cute, that is considerate. We get instructions for the llama. Okay, and then, ah, so you make it in two parts and then you stick them together. Oh, those are advanced projects for sure. Army girl, <laughs> you get to make snacks as well. Another hamster, we have another drink and the same kitty cat that we just made. And the pixel bits themselves, I don't know if the camera can catch it. It's a pearlescent color. Kind of like when you mix Perlex powders in resin, you get that kind of pearly type effect. And this is what it looks like. Just so that we can compare, this here is a regular purple. Hang on, let's get closer. This is a regular purple and this is the pearlescent, or as they call it, the metallic purples. I'm curious what they're gonna look like once they're in the water. And a pearlescent blue, pearlescent purple, and a, can't see it with the white. <laughs> we get more decals slash stickers. So I'm guessing this is the arms for the llama. Oh my God, I love the little faces. Hollywood crunchies. These rainbow eyes are adorable. We have the drinks. I love it. Oh, we didn't put a collar on ours. That's okay. 
we can make plenty. And it comes with its own mini board as well as a spritzer. So you can basically just use these if you want to make smaller projects. Cute little gift. And yes, yet again, we do get a fully colored illustrated instruction guide. Okay, I thought this would have to be like a separate add-on that you would have to get, but it does work on its own. That is really convenient if you want like a stocking stuffer or something like that, because they're little. And now for the clear. In addition to getting the exact same thing in terms of we have our little block, spritzer, instruction guides, we get six different colors in this one and they are transparent. So you can see here, they are see-through. A very nice translucent pink, green, yellow, blue, brown, and orange. You can make a watermelon, dolphin, baggy, pineapple, and a person. Very cute. So now I legitimately want to challenge myself. I'm going to make the llama, which is huge. So I'm going to be using the bigger kit because I want to make as many of them as possible within the actual container. So we're going to make the llama, both the front part of the body and the backside, since I want to see what the metallic looks like. And then we're going to go ahead and also do the watermelon because I want to see what the transparent clear one looks like. And if we're lucky enough, we actually do have space to make the snack. Part of me also wants to make a skateboard. We'll see if we get there, but we're gonna take one thing at a time. I'm kind of overdoing it here, but I'm really excited. Time to put it together and spray. And now we're just adding the second layer where they need it. Now for the llama eyes, it's actually one piece, but I'm gonna try and do it in separate pieces because there, it's easier for me and my little brain. So I'm gonna remove it separately, like uh, so. There. Oh no, not that way! <laughs> I should have listened. Okay, I got you. There we go, like uh, so. Remember, the little kits don't come with tools, so I'm doing it as though it were the little kit. And I'm basically just adding faces while it's still wet. All right, now it's time to unmold. By the way, I found this silicone tool to be so useful for the faces, because if there's too much water, sometimes what you could do is just kind of take the tool and just push it against the face until it lays flat. Otherwise, it may curl. All right, kitty cat, I'm so nervous. Do I just pull you out? <gasps> Look at you. Oh my God. All right, we're gonna turn this surface around, put you like a so. And behind the spritzer tool, there's actually a tiny sponge, and this sponge is actually wet. So we're gonna do this like a so, and we're gonna put the ears on. There, and there. Wait, I did it wrong. <laughs> Voila. Now we're just going to let everything rest for about 40 minutes. And now for the fun part, which is removing it from the backing. And at first I was like, do I need to be delicate? But I didn't need to be delicate. It actually held itself so well. The back part actually is still wet, so I really do recommend that you turn it the other side and let it air out so that the water and moisture don't stay trapped in. And for the llama, I did a couple of spritzes and then I added the, the little llama, but I didn't wanna just sit there and hold it, so I added the top of the cap of the spritzer and it seems to have held on pretty well. And here are all my creations. I have to tell you, Grains, very honestly, this has so much playability. I actually didn't want to stop, but I have to stop at some point. I wanted to make all the characters. It was also really relaxing. So if you want more information on Pixobits, I will leave them down below. Again, a huge thank you to the sponsor. I've always been honest with you, Grains, and despite the fact that this is a sponsor, I will always be honest. Otherwise, I just would not have taken it. If you want to watch more videos, feel free to check the lists over here. Until then, I will see you, Grains, in the next video.